What's up, people? Welcome back to another live reaction of Brother. This is episode 44. Let's go and get right into it because the father son reunion gonna be so awesome. I can't wait, especially after knowing Van Kornheim is a great guy. So it's gonna be, it makes so much sense for them all three to fight together, right? I mean, a family fight against a father. I'm pretty sure they will have help from Mustang and stuff, but it's just gonna be badass. I can't wait. <sighs> I was kind of annoyed that Van Horner, he left without, you know, building a di building with his power, I mean, with Alchemist and stuff, but yeah, he seems like he's helping out. So, yeah, it's going to be nice to see. And May left, that was actually kind of shocking. I thought she would participate in the final fight. She might come back, I don't know, you know, but yeah, I thought she probably would left also King's speech it doesn't sound like he I don't know he still have some humanity left him and that's what I feel like yeah and I can't wait for this fight though it's gonna be so epic <laughs> And then they had to obviously, oh damn, the, the, you know, the, basically song saying they're going to break down the door of truth and take back the body. Reviving at full throttle. Raving at full throttle. Oh, that radio. Yeah. So, uh, I saw Panako recently. She told me about your body. Panako, Master Isumi, right? He's probably surprised about, you know, the father hey, portion. There he is. <laughs> Mr. Ho, you think you could give us a hand for a bit? Yeah, sure. Um, let's catch up later. Oh, okay. He's just confused, I'm pretty sure Al, especially. You did a hell of a job fixing up this old radio. It works better than it used to. <laughs> it doesn't even pick up static now. That studio survived in that battle. I'm really sorry. All this bad stuff happened because we stuck our noses in. Mm, don't say that. You've got to look at all the good stuff that's come from it. You guys exposed to corrupt fraud. People reacted badly at first. But take a look. They're all working together and more Sounds bonded good. than before. The whole town's working together to rebuild what we lost. And you guys are the ones that brought us together. I'm gonna help build. Rose, can you take care of Winry? <laughs> well, we might as well help too. You heard him, Yoki. Yoki is such a joker, man. Really? You mean that was your son back there? I'm sorry if we interrupted. It's been a while, right? Maybe you should head back and talk. I don't know. I left when he was just a boy and haven't seen him since. I doubt that he thinks of me as his father or trusts me. I'm not even sure what to say to him. Hey, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I'd like to work, too. <laughs> Here, let me carry those. Well, he think of him as a father. That's actually really nice to see. You know, Ed was pissed, but Al, yeah. You okay in there? How's the water feel? Amazing. It feels like an eternity since I've had a bath. I'll hmm. leave some fresh clothes for you here. Thank you so much, Rose. Mm. She's so nice to do all this for me. I'm really impressed with you, Winry. Working as an auto mail engineer, you're so independent for someone your age. So did you design Ed's leg? That's right. That was back when we were just little kids, really. That's amazing. You're the one who literally helped Ed get back on his feet again. So you indirectly helped me get back on my feet, too. I owe you just as much as I owe Ed and Al. So you don't kind of understand what's going on. Have to believe Father Cornello. Okay. He claimed that he the story is being explained. Life, I began to blindly follow him. 
But lucky for me, that's when Ed and Al showed up and proved that his miracles were just alchemy. Everything I believed in suddenly disappeared. I lost all hope. She looked much grown up though, I don't know. It's just, when I saw her first, I couldn't, but then just, it didn't click. With me. He told me to stand on my own two feet. He said that? <laughs> a jerk sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why it's so difficult for him to be nice. <laughs> he was being nice. That's just how much he cares. But you already know that, don't you? <laughs> she is blushing. Helped open our eyes, mine and the whole town's. We're learning to stand on our own, and we don't need any kind of miracle to do it. It's all thanks to Ed and Al. Ed. Yeah, we haven't seen Ed in a while. Such a bright idea to follow those military guys. I have no idea where the hell I am. Where are you, Mr. Greed? Oh yeah. So much for a spy mission. Oh shit. The soldiers. That's where Olivia is, right? someone from creating their own army general okay but these aren't they aren't human are they correct they're like humanoid receptacles powerful dummies that we can bond souls to oh not only are they immortal they're mindlessly obedient they are the world's most perfect soldier mind if i ask you a question sir go right ahead you mentioned that souls would be bonded to them that be human lives from rival lands of course okay Citizens from the countries we ravaged during the course of war for one reason or another the battlefield serves as a hunting ground for the collection of souls <laughs> this place is evil pure evil why did i ever come here mr green would never be in an awful place like this <laughs> oh shit and he found Mr. Great. Uh huh. And I've got a hunch that it runs under the ore. If it does, well, no, I'm positive it does. Hold on now. Let's find some place more private. <laughs> so, Finally, country father son. Mutation circle, and you plan on destroying it. Yeah. So I was kind of shocked to find you here, Dad. I must have some good luck after all. We encountered a man who was identical to you in Central. I don't know how you're connected to him, but I'm guessing you at least know who he is, right? Are you sure you want to know, Al? Uh, Did it ever cross your mind I might be on their side? Uh, You've given away your entire plan. Aren't you the least bit worried I might leak it to them? Uh, well, it's a bit too late now, but yeah, that is a good point. I'm glad that you feel like you can still trust me. Thanks, Alphonse. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the shit out of him. This boy still sees me as his father and actually trusts me. Now then, I suppose I owe my sons the same trust they've given me. This won't be easy to explain. It would be for the best for Edward to hear it as well. Actually, I hate to say it. But brother has gone missing. Thanks, bang. Huh. Next in line, please. I'd like to make a withdrawal from the account of state alchemist Edward Elric, his research account. Are you the account holder? I'm his representative, but I brought a letter of attorney. Okay. Thank you for your business, sir. This is the Bank of Amestris, Northern Branch. We just had a very large withdrawal taken from state alchemist Edward Elric's personal research account. 
No. He claimed to be his representative. Well, he was rather tall and very brawny. Here. That should cover your medical bill. <laughs> well, I could charge you more, but this'll do. Wow. It better. You're <laughs> ripping us off, Doc. How can you say that? It's reasonable when you consider the risks involved. Sure, and as long as you guarantee that you're going to keep your mouth shut, then I'm not complaining. Darius. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess they found us. Yes, hello? Oh, you're soldiers. Do you need a physical? <laughs> Is this man your only patient? There's no one else? There's one more resting. Wow. Are you the only patient back here? Yeah. Why are you asking? What's wrong? Tell me, were you at the bank this afternoon? Don't move! <laughs> Mine is back in full health. This doctor's office. Slowly raise your hands above your head. Have you seen anyone unusual frequenting the clinic lately? Uh, him? He's described as... Right now! Show me your hands! A red coat, blonde hair worn in a braid, and short. And short! <laughs> you pissed him off! Harris! Harris, what happened to you? Come on, snap too! And he didn't, I know he didn't kill him. He probably just knocked him out. Okay, Ed in the move too, so it's cool. It's all cool. We haven't seen him like th three episodes so far. Hey, answer me! Ooh. <laughs> Look at him, he's freaking out! <laughs> Uh. Oh damn, you just had to take him out on your own, huh? You're pretty reckless, kid. You haven't even fully recovered yet. Don't treat me like I'm an invalid. My injuries are completely healed, and I'm revving it. <laughs> <laughs> revving it at full throttle. Alchemist. Okay, you can play with the duck. Alchemist. I said, uh, Done. It looks so like badass right now. Just hurry up and go. We've had about all the trouble we can take for today. That's all they're looking for? Someone with a red coat and a braid? Guess I'll have to make do with this look for a while. <laughs> Drop your weapons! Oh wait, that was more of them? Get your hands up in the air. Do it now! Move it, kid! Those guys are dangerous! Stay back or he's dead. Don't force us to blow this kid's brains out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny shit. Oh damn, that's actually pretty smart. Wire some wheels for us. Okay. Wait, who's car? Okay. I thought somebody coming to get them on a car. Hey, gorilla, step on it. Don't call me that. <laughs> Oh damn. That was a little too close. How's it looking behind us? <laughs> Not good. They're right on us. Damn it. You can't even use alchemy, that's a problem. I've got an idea. What? Just shut up and turn! <laughs> Just work the car as soon as we turn. They turn. Wait, what's gonna happen after the turn? The hell no! How? Oh, he, they must he turned on that street up there. Lol, he uh, changed the shape. What's up with the design, though? I mean, come on, Ed. <laughs> Can't you even make it as a Ferrari or something? Yeah, well, can you change it back into a normal car now? And what is that? I think this car looks cool as hell. Just change it back. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I swear, it was looking so badass with the, you know, the stick in his mouth. Again. Yep. I never should have dropped my guard around Kimberly. Talk about a setback. Adele. 
I hope he was able to safely find Winry. Hey, Full Metal. Quit spacing out. So what's the next plan of action? Well, let's see. The first thing I need to do is meet up with Al. He should be with Dr. Marco by now. Well, where are they? You do know how to find them, right? Uh, I don't think so. If I were Al, where would I go? Come on. Think. But he found so much afterward. That's the thing. Still awake? <sighs> yeah, sorry. It's just a lot. You were a slave and now you're a philosopher's stone? Yeah, right. Basically, to summarize it. I'd say I blame you if you don't believe me. I doubt I would. I know how impossibly far-fetched that it sounds. You'd have to be crazy to believe it. Well, I guess I'm crazy then because I do believe you. Oh, do you really? That was fast. <laughs> to be honest, it kind of scares me. And besides, my situation's kind of far-fetched too. So, what's it like not being able to die? Well, it's... I'm not gonna lie and say it doesn't come in handy. <laughs> but it's not worth watching everyone I love die before me. Like Mom. Wait, if you're a Philosopher's Stone, you don't have a normal human body, right? So does that mean... Ed and I aren't exactly normal humans either. Yeah. You don't have to worry, Al. It's true that I have a philosopher's stone fused to my soul. Now, I was thinking that too. Change the fact that I am a human being. Although I look alike beneath Central, his body is like a leather bag that's patterned after mine. A leather bag? More or less. And if we can destroy that leather bag, then we can defeat what's inside. That makes sense. Oh, I almost forgot. Look at this. They're gonna do the same thing to Amestris that they did to Xerxes, aren't they? We've gotta hurry and stop them. It's almost complete. Oh, I'm impressed. You've really done your homework. This is a reverse transmutation circle, huh? Destroying the tunnel seems like the best way to thwart them. And since it runs under Lior... That's not a good idea. <sighs> They've got an immensely powerful homunculus named Pride watching over the tunnel. But still, we've got to try before it's too late. For all we know, they might have already completed the circle. They have. Why are you so relaxed? Because it's not yet time. Because they need How him. Do you know? Him look and up. his brother. You're too busy looking down when you need to look up. Huh? If you want answers, that's where you'll find them. Up? <laughs> the sky? You mean the sun god Leto? The man in Central is waiting for the Day of Reckoning. Day of Reckoning? What the hell is that? Oh, yeah. Why is he doing this to me? What did I do to deserve it? Well, this is fun. Most people tend to curl up and cry. It's about time that someone actually fights back. I do appreciate the chance to kill my boredom. <laughs> He's almost like Reed. Shield? And your voice sounds like... What the hell? You. How dare you imitate Mr. Greed? Excuse me. I'm no imitation. My name is Greed. The avaricious. You got it. I want everything you could possibly think of. I want money and power and women. Sex, status, glory. You demand the finer things in life. <laughs> you can't. How could you be? All right. Who are you? Yes, oh, shit. You are Mr. Greed. But how can you look like someone else? I asked you who you are. But no. His memory is being it's brought me. back? I'm your friend, Vigo. You haven't been gone from Dublin long enough to forget. Oh, you're from Dublin. Oh, now it makes sense. You remember me? No. Oh. Afraid not. You must have been buddies with the previous Greed. But I thought 
Sorry, pal, but you and I have never even met. Oh, shit. Mr. Reed, I'm your friend. Damn. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. I am sorry, honestly. See, his memory is coming back. Or is it Link that's trying to take over? What's up, Link? Is it Link? What have you done, Greed? Are you determined to prove you're a monster? What kind of sick creature would kill his own friend? He wasn't my friend. Oh shit, his memory is coming back. Why do you remember him? And are you gonna try and tell me Beto was just making everything up? Those are the last Greed's memories. They're not mine! Then why are you in so much pain? <sighs> Pull yourself together, Greed. I'm warning you. I'll take my body back if you drop your guard. They aren't mine. Father purified me and purged the old Greed's memories. Those well, then why are they still there? Erase them from your soul? They were the only part of you that you chose! Look at them! Can you not hear their souls crying out? You abandoned them! Your real family! You threw them away like trash! Fool, if you turned your back on something you wanted, you don't deserve to call yourself free! Oh shit! So greed return to normal. Ah, come on! Dude, these episodes are so fast, I can't even... Okay. Uh, there should be another episode out by now, guys. So you guys... Well, the next episode should be out by now. So you guys can check it out. Oh, wait. There's a credit scene to this. Honestly, it's so awesome to see uh, Al and Honahai Honaheim working together. I am really looking forward to that. And... It seems like Greed is back to his old self. That means he might help out to fight against Father. That would be interesting. And oh, Ed, that was a badass, you know, stuff going on with Ed. I really like that. And I don't know if he's gonna make it to here, Leo, or is he gonna is he gonna stay there? I don't know. Gonna go north because after he left Ed, right? He they found out so much. So he can't, I don't know, but what I think, he shouldn't be able to predict what Al would do. At least that's what I think. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode, guys. It's going to be hype. Okay, now time to wait for our credit scene. I wonder who's these two hands, is it? It's mom and dad? Let's see. Where are we now? I think you'll enjoy this one. I was just a bit older than you are the first time I read it. It's about an adventurer who travels the world. <laughs> what is it? Uh oh. Who is it? Wait a second, why is he here? Oh shit, okay. I can't see why he is here. I don't know, that was a stupid question to ask why he is here. Okay, so it seems like greed was wrath return. And also, hide is there, it's gonna be a problem. But I don't know, they might end up killing his wife. That's a prediction. I don't know, it's just not liking it but you can see how much he love even though he's adapted how much he actually love him you can see like soon as he hears something he just you know like uh, if you see a chicken and chicks that's what chicken would do like try to hold them up but yeah i'm really looking forward to the next episode guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this episode and what do you think of owls i mean ed's you know the fighting scene it was pretty cool i i really enjoyed that one anyway i'm gonna end the video here have a wonderful day people and see you guys with more